What's going on YouTube? This is your boy, DJ Hypnotic, with yet another tutorial. Now, I've been getting a lot of people hitting me up on Twitter, on Facebook, you know, like, you know, amateur DJs asking me, well, where can I get a drop from? Or how can I do a drop? Or what's the website for drops, whatever. So I'm here to tell you that you really don't need to pay for drops if you don't want to. You can quite, you know, do drops yourself. You know, it's quite easy. It takes a couple of minutes. Something real simple. If you're just trying to get something out there, you can just get, you know, somebody like your friend or your family member to give you a drop to do something for you, whatever. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to put like minor effects to your own custom DJ drop. Okay. So the program we're going to use is Adobe Audition CC. Okay. A lot of people don't know about this feature that I'm about to show you, but we're going to go along and um, knock it out. Okay. So, I'm going to go to Adobe Audition. Now, I already set up the files already for, um, for the tutorial. So, right now we got this right here. Doing it up for you and yours. You rocking with the Tarant Table Assassin, DJ Hypnotic. And we're going to use that along with this sound effect in the background with the drop. So we're going to use those two um, files to do a little quick, simple, basic drop for your mixtapes or whatever. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go here where it says multi-track. Click on multi-track. And now it's going to give you a multi-track session option here. Now the part a lot of people probably don't use is the template here. So we're going to select DJ Drop. Bam! Click OK. And then it's going to give you um, these certain different types of tracks with different types of effects on them. We got chorus, echo, flanger, and music. And it goes down and down master. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag drop one, which is the DJ Hypnotic one, and drag it here. We can expand it zoom in a little bit clicking zoom in so we know exactly what we're working with here so we're gonna need to go like this we're gonna go click play doing it up for you and yours. now I want to say doing it for you and yours I want to leave the echo so I'm gonna bring it back here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click command K on a Mac or control K if you're on a PC click, click command K Click on this part right here and drag it down. That brings you to another section of well, the tracks. So what if I don't want the next part to be echo? So I'm going to bring it down to flanger. Bring it down to flanger. And it's going to sound like this. You rocking with the turntable assassin. Deep. Now I wanted, I wanted to say rocking with the turntable assassin flanger. Now I want my name DJ Hypnotic to be echoed out so I'm going to click it right before where it says DJ Hypnotic again click command K or control K on the PC grab it and bring it up there you go and the DJ Hypnotic is going to sound like this DJ Hypnotic so if we rewind it it's going to sound less like this without any music in the background you rocking with the turntable assassin, DJ Hypnotic. Now, you can just leave it there if you want to, but you know we can we can add some sound effects or some music to it or whatever if you want to. Okay, there you go. Now we're gonna rewind it all the way to the back. It's gonna sound just like this with the music in the background. DJ Hypnotic. Now, automatically, the, the, the song is much longer than the actual drop. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here where it says that time selection tool. And we're going to delete a portion 
of this music. So let's say we're going to go here and about that much. Yeah, a little bit too much, too much. Round there. Click delete. And we're going to drag the rest, the remaining. And what's awesome about Adobe Audition, it automatically crossfades it for you, which is pretty dope. So, if we go to the beginning, it will sound like this. And that's it. And there you have your simple two minute custom made drop. You did yourself. You don't have to uh, buy expensive drops if you don't have the money for it and all that stuff. So I just showed you a quick, easy way to make a custom drop at, in your home. All right. So, um, that's the tutorial. Like, subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter, DefDJHypnotic78. Hit up my website, www.djhypnotic.net. And uh, that's it, man. And uh, thanks for tuning in. And I'm out of here.